Hello guys, welcome back to Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we're going to be watching Sleepy Hollow. It's my first time watching this film. I know it came out in 1999. I have absolutely no idea <laughs> what it's about, aside from the fact that, you know, it's Tim Burton and Johnny Depp right. collaboration, and I tend to like their collaborations. Yes. But this is my first time watching this film, so. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's definitely been a really long time for me, mm -hmm. to be fair. Uh, I remember I probably just like snuck it and I watched it when I really shouldn't have because I was relatively young when it came out. Um, mm -hmm. And then I watched it again when I was a little bit older, similar okay. to like the whole Exorcist story. There you go. Yeah, I was going to say, it sounds similar. We've, we've gone yeah. through this before. Yes, we have. Mm -hmm. I watched a lot of movies that I shouldn't have as a child. A lot of horror movies. Um, basically, this is based on a short story by Washington Irving. Mm -hmm. The story is called The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Okay. Um... Basically, it meshes a lot of different genres together. You know, there's the horror, there's the dark comedy, there's like elements of romance and a lot of different things without spoiling Ooh. it. Okay. Um, some adjustments have been made from the original source material. But other than that, from as far as like I remember, it stuck pretty close to home. Um, I personally am a huge Tim Burton fan. I love when he collaborates with Johnny Depp because that's when the magic really mm -hmm. happens. Yep, they're really and good collaborators together. They just always work their magic. Yeah, they really do. Yeah. Like, I'm really looking forward for you to see this just because, first of all, I'm really curious how you're going to react to a movie from 1999. <laughs> Second of all, I can't wait for you to see the synergy that happens. Mm. Okay. When these two work together. I agree. I, I tend to like the, the tone that comes with a Tim Burton project and the yeah. gravitas that Johnny Depp is able to carry. The, the gravitas that he's able to imbue, you know, his character work. Uh, he's such a magnificent yeah. actor. So I tend to like their work a lot. This is just one that I, uh, you know, I slept on a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 so yeah you've been talking about this film for such a long time and i've been curious and we we've been planning on watching this even before the channel began so you know why not do it now you know it is a good film and it, we're still kind of enjoying our halloween season i know it was yeah. already halloween <laughs> yesterday and we said bye but we're gonna continue this halloween season oh yeah halloween well for into life. well into christmas season you know that's just the way we roll yes so um <laughs> anyway without further ado i'm excited she's excited i hope that you guys are excited thank you for watching and clicking the video guys let's experience this together um so without further ado we're, we're gonna, gonna dive right in and we'll <laughs> see you guys in a second <laughs> the danny elfman score man i love danny elfman Fucking love it. So iconic every time he does music. Every single time. Still, I think, hands down, the best Spider Man theme. Oh, yeah. That Spider Man theme, everybody knows that Spider Man yeah. theme. Yeah. That's the Spider Man it's theme. The Spider Man theme, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, The Last Will. Peter Van Garrett? <laughs> Sealed with blood? Oh, it's no, wax. It's, okay. You're supposed to think it's blood. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I love it. Wow, the music. Yeah. Of course. Just the atmosphere. I was just about to say, I like the mist, the darkness, the yeah. luminous, the freaking lightning, dude, the music. <laughs> I like it. Ooh. Just a sense of impending doom, you know? Mm. I know it's supposed to be a Halloween-ish movie to watch. I just don't know why yet, which is, I'm excited <laughs> for it. I don't know what it's about, so. <laughs> the hell was that, a horse? Mm. Oh, it's the Headless Horseman! <laughs> oh! <gasps> oh, he just killed him. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> but running into the cornfield is definitely the no, best idea. It's not the best idea. <laughs> Poor guy. Is it the scarecrow's like, remember me, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, oh! Graphic! Okay. I wasn't expecting to see the actual, you know, I like it. <laughs> I like it. Was this R-rated for the time? I don't remember. Interesting. I like it. I like myself some, uh, some you know, details. Because uh, in Germany, this was rated like 16 years and up. Okay. Is that you? No, no, no. Not only me. 
I'm He's so young, dude. I know. A man. <laughs> and I was a corpse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Burn it. Yes, sir. <laughs> We do not yet know the cause of death. When you find them in the river, the cause of death is drowning. Yeah, I mean, hmm. But by pathology, we might be able to determine whether or not he was dead before he went into the river. Ah, uh, autopsy. Yeah. Body, cut him up. Are we heathens? What happened to him? Nothing, sir. Arrested for burglary. There you go. <laughs> Two so seconds he... ago, he was like, are we heathens? <laughs> 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 He's like, uh, okay. Also, I love the guy that was gonna burn the body. He was so jazzed up about it. He's like, yeah. You to rely on medieval <laughs> devices of torture. Turn down! I stand up. For <laughs> sense and justice. Those <laughs> overflow with men and women convicted on confessions like no more than this one. Constable Crane. <laughs> song that we have heard from you more than once. Now, there are two courses open to me. Such an actor. I can let you cool your heels in the cells until you learn respect for the dignity of my office. I beg pardon. Yikes. Yeah. Only one who sees that to solve crimes, to detect the guilty, we must use our brains to recognize vital clues. <laughs> Eight scientific techniques. Which brings me to the second course. There is a town upstate, two days journey to the north in the Hudson Highlands. Hmm. Sleepy, Sleepy Hollow. There you go. It's a real town, by the way. An isolated farming community, mainly Dutch. Three persons have been murdered there all within a fortnight. Each one found with the head lopped off. <laughs> He's so invested now. I know. You will take <laughs> these experimentations of yours to Sleepy Hollow. Okay. You will detect the murderer. It's your first case. Yeah. To face our good justice. Will you do this? I shall. Remember, it is you, Ichabod Crane, who is now put to the test. Yeah. He is so epic, I dude. love it. He's so oh. iconic. Yeah, I mean, now he has a chance to do his, uh, yeah. know, his job and to prove yeah. that this is what it takes. So what is he, a scientist and uh, a forensic Basic scientist? Basically, yeah, what you would probably qualify as a criminologist of sorts right now. All right. He's so young, man. Wow. I know. You know, originally they wanted to consider uh, Liam Neeson for this role. For this role? Yeah. For that's Johnny Depp's role. That's a big departure. From Liam Neeson to Johnny Depp, that's a huge departure. Yeah. No, Tim Burton was the one that fought for him. Of course. I mean, he was his first choice, but Paramount Studios was like, no, you got to consider it. And he was like, cool. <laughs> mm. Great place to put the Danny Elfman name. Wow. Colleen Atwood is one of the best costume designers you will find. She's amazing. I love that the little lambs are just grazing next to a cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know any better. They've seen no. some shit. They've seen For some sure. shit. <laughs> oh, that's such a nice spooky little town. Look at that. Yeah. That's like Perfect for Halloween vibes, dude. They all seem so welcoming. There's a stranger in town, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a small town, so I assume they would know, right? That that's a... Yeah. They're probably all frightened by the news of the people Some... that have just been murdered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. There's a scarecrow. Yep, with a pumpkin head. A jack-o'-lantern. Get it. <laughs> Who's got a kiss for that pinky witch? Oh. Is it Theodore? No, pardon me, I am only a stranger. Then have a kiss on account. <laughs> I'm dead. There you go. I'm... Looking for Baltus Van Tassel. I'm his daughter, Katrina Van Tassel. And who are you, friend? We have not heard your name yet. <laughs> Someone is us. <laughs> yeah. You need some manners. Wrong. Come, come, we'd have no raised voices. It is only to raise spirits during. Oh, look, it's Dumbledore. But I and my dear wife are giving this little party. Wow, he looks so different. I know. Just welcome, even if you are selling something. 
<laughs> Solicitors accepted. Sent to you from New York to investigate murder in Sleepy Hollow. Then Sleepy Hollow is grateful to you, Constable Crane. And we hope you will honor us by remaining in this house. Well spoke, dear. Yeah. Well, come, sir. We'll get you settled. Well, the costume design is really good, too. Yeah. With the attention to details. Yeah. Thank you. Please tell Mr. Van Tassel I will be down in a moment. I will, sir. Thank God you're here. <laughs> He's like... He's like... Okay. Look at Vernon, Uncle Vernon. Ooh, Porter. yeah. Yeah. We are joined by Dr. Thomas Lancaster, the Reverend Skeenery, our able magistrate Samuel Phillips. This fine fellow is James Hardenbrook, our notary. And you, sir? A simple farmer who has prospered. Town looks to me as friend and counsel. And landlord and banker. Can we proceed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, three persons murdered first. Peter Van Garrett. Why do they all look so suspicious? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Dirk Van Garrett. Both of them strong, capable men found together. Decapitated. Mm. <laughs> One week later, the widow Winship also <laughs> decapitated. I love how he just pops <laughs> he's like, in and out of frame. Yeah. He's so <laughs> intense. <laughs> Many questions. But first, let me ask, is anyone suspected? <laughs> So everyone in this room right now. Let me explain to you, Constable. Only mm -hmm. that the three were slain in open ground. Their heads found severed from their bodies. Right. Mm -hmm. Their heads were not found severed. Their heads were not found at all. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keeping the heads, huh? Gone. Taken. Taken by the headless horseman. Mm-hmm. Nice. Pardon, I, I don't. Perhaps you had better sit down. Yeah, catch yeah. him up to speed. The horseman was a Hessian mercenary sent to these shores by German princes mm. to keep Americans under the yoke of England. But unlike his compatriots who came for money. I love the music. Yeah. Of carnage. When battle was joined, there you'd find him. <laughs> he rode a giant black steed named Daredevil. <laughs> He was infamous for riding his horse hard into battle, chopping off heads at the full gallop. Nice! His teeth down to sharp points to add to the ferocity of his appearance. He looks menacing as hell, dude. Oof. Didn't finally reach his end until the winter of 79. Oh no, Daredevil! Not far from here, in our western woods. Poor baby. Oh boy. Oh no. I'm saying oh no, but I mean, he did murder like a hundred thousand people. A lot of people, people. yeah, I know. <laughs> he murdered a lot of people. Oh. Tiny humans. Oh, <gasps> you little witch! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Yo. Dude, this guy is lethal. Ah. Uh... Oh. He chopped off his head with his own sword. Even today, the western woods is a haunted place where brave men will not venture. Damn. It was planted in the ground that day. It was a seed of evil. What? And so it has been for 20 years. But now the Hessian wakes. He's on the rampage. Cutting off heads where he mm. finds them. Came back for revenge. Are you saying... Is that what you believe? Seeing is believing. Hmm. Mm. You brought books and trappings of scientific investigation. This is the only book I recommend you read. The Bible? Bible? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I fucking knew it! Oh, dude. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's promising. That's not um not a man of flesh, that's for sure. Come out, devil. <laughs> yeah, no. 
It didn't work, huh? Wow. Yeah, you're not gonna outrun the horse. Fourth one? Yes. Fourth one already? In the span of how many days? Uh, I'm not too sure, but what, a week probably? You don't ever don't do, do that. do that. I was gonna say. <laughs> no, much appreciated. <laughs> you worry about a thing. Everything's gonna be just fine. Thomas, inside! No, no, I'm for your breakfast. Because your mother wants for you and twice for me. Murder! <laughs> the horseman's killed again! All right, Gunpowder, we're off. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Not as easy as it looks to get on a horse. No, like, they're it's, pretty tall. Uh, yeah. Especially without like a something you can step on. Yeah. Ouch. Right back for the coffee. It's a flesh wound. All right, I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> right on time. Thank you, right sir. On time. You know. Try not to throw up, buddy. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's gruesome. The fourth victim, Jonathan Nesbitt. Let's see. And the head. Take him. Yeah, dude. Interesting. Very interesting. What is? In headless corpse cases of this sort, the head is removed to prevent identification of the body. But we know this was Jonathan Mesbeth. Precisely. So why was the head removed? Why? Right. Right. You have moved the body? I did. You must never move the body. Why not? Right. Because. Because. You destroy evidence. Yeah. My guy. <laughs> it's just because. Because <laughs> I said so. Yeah. <laughs> There's more, uh, I guess, data, right? Where the crime actually happens so right. when they pull through then... Yeah, especially if you know a little bit of tracking. The stride is gigantic. The attacker rode Masbeth down. Turned his horse. Came back. Came back to clean the head. Nice. Oh! This little chemistry set. Yeah. They're all like, what is he doing? They're so intrigued. Yeah, there's a chemical reaction. Shows there was a powerful singular thrust to the neck. <laughs> there's the look. I was I waiting for the yeah. eccentric <laughs> Johnny Depp look. Yeah. There it is. What is it? The wound was cauterized in the very instant. Oh. As though the blade itself were red hot. And yet, no blistering, no scorched flesh. The devil's fire. The proof is there, he's just yeah. not acknowledging it. It's there, dude. It's not a person doing this. Mr. Constable, sir. You're young Masbeth. I was young Masbeth, but now the only one. Masbeth at your service, in honor bound to avenge my father. No. Aww. One and only Masbeth, I, I thank you very much, but your mother will need you more than I. My mother is in heaven, sir. Oh, he's alone. But you have no one to serve you. I am your man, sir. Yes, and a brave one, too, but I cannot be the one to look after you. Sorry for your loss, young Mr. Masbeth. Aw, oh, poor Masbeth. Let him help a little bit. He probably needs it. Yeah, a little he, hobby. I'm sure he could use the distraction, man. Yeah. Poor kid. Constable Crane. Mr. Phillips? Something you should know. Jonathan Masbeth, not the fourth victim. The fifth. The fifth? What? Five victims in four graves. Okay. Uh-huh. Why are they hiding one? Young Masbert, find a place in the Van Tassel servants' quarters. Wake me before dawn. I hope you have a strong stomach. Peter Van Garrett. Dirk Van Garrett. Hmm. Masbert. Five victims, four graves. The widow Winship. Oh, that makes sense. She was pregnant. Oh. Uh... She cut the baby, he cut the baby's head through the stomach too? That's why there was a slice in the stomach. You need to operate immediately. Operate? She's dead. When we say operate, we mean, of course, I will need the operating table. Once more, the neck wound cauterized, the sword thrust to the stomach, the same. Mm hmm What purpose? To what is your purpose is the question. All right, then. Step outside, young Masbeth. Thank you very, very much for your help, Mr. Killian. And if you don't mind, Doctor. <laughs> Everybody out. Yeah, Palpatine has come a long way. <laughs> okay, so he does have a, a good knowledge, too, with uh, some, well, I mean, forensic, forensic medicine as well. Yeah. Right? His little tutorial. Before the internet. Uh... Wrong vein. <gasps> Yikes. What did you find out, Constable? The widow Winship was with child.
There you go. So pregnant and probably he took the head of the baby as well. Because why else would there be a cut in the stomach? Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Oh no. It's not gonna be, right? Who's there? Oh no! <laughs> it is! Yeah, go! Go, 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 go! Oh, dude. The freaking headless horseman. He's so menacing, dude. Dude, just, I mean, come on. The fact that he's holding. I know. The pumpkin head. Ow. I think that's 50 points for the headshot. Right? Yeah. Interesting. Ah. <laughs> I was going to say it was kind of giving me a, I know it's not the same, but like a Scooby-Doo-ish yeah. vibe where it's like, <laughs> how do you know that someone is not going to dress up as the Headless Horseman? And, right. Just you know, fake it? Take advantage of the legend, yeah. per se. So I'm glad that they did show that that is a possibility as well, you know? Yeah. Aww. Oh, That's cool. Aww. Oh no. She got murdered. Imagine that's the way they used to have to light things up. Yeah, They could, like, bring a big-ass candle with you, just in case. <laughs> Pardon my intrusion, I saw a light. It was no intrusion. I come here to read when I'm wakeful. To read books which you must hide. They were my mother's books. My father believes tales of romance caused the brain fever that killed my mother. The nurse who cared for her during her sickness is now Lady Van Tassel. Okay. Uh-huh. Hmm. Why did no one think to mention that the Van Garretts are kith and kin to the Van Tassel? Why, because there is hardly a household in Sleepy Hollow that is not connected to every other by blood or marriage. Uh, mm. Hmm. This land we're looking at was Van Garrett land, given to my father when I was in swaddling clothes. The Van Garretts were the richest family around these parts. When my father brought us to Sleepy Hollow, Van Garrett set him up with an acre in a broken down cottage. My father worked hard for his family. And prospered and built this house. And I owe my happiness to him. Take this. It is my gift for you. No, I have no use for it. <laughs> You're so certain of everything. It'll come into play later for sure. What is the book of spells? Mm-hmm. Mm. It was your mother's. Keep it close to your heart. It is sure protection against harm. Got it. So most of the town does believe in the legends and magic of yeah. sorts and whatnot. And he's like completely with science. It was my first drawing school. And my mother was my teacher. See? Carved into the fire back? The archer. I've forgotten it. She was drawing like her, his mom used to do, right? Mm -hmm. As well. A cardinal. Hmm. My favorite. I'd love to have it. Huh. That's too much of a sign, dude. Mm. Well then, I have something for you. Cardinal on one side, an empty cage, and now... You can do magic. Teach me. It is no magic. It is what we call optics. It is truth. But truth is not always appearance. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, indeed. I feel like that's going to foreshadow how they're going to figure out this case, you know? It's truth. Yeah. It's not always appearance. Stuff. Yeah. Huh. I'm loving the tone of this already. Like, yeah. thus far, it's been both nostalgic, but also still very relevant in a way. Yeah. Like, it doesn't feel old, you know? Yeah, I'm I like that. I feel like it. Yeah. Time to start doing some detective work, huh? Yeah. So we can't rule anybody out now. What are you running from, Magistrate Phillips? Damn you, Crane. You would a mind to help me. Yes, and it's put me in mortal dread of... Of what? Powers against which there is no defense. How did mm. you know the Widow Winship was expecting a child? She told me. Then I deduce you are the father. I'm not the father. Did she tell you the name of the child's father? Yes, she did. She came to me for advice as town magistrate to protect the rights of her child. Okay. I was bound by my oath of office to keep the secret. You believe the father killed her? How often do I have to tell you there is no horseman? There was a horseman. There never will be a horseman. What is that? <laughs> my talisman, it protects me from the horseman. You a magistrate and your head full of such nonsense. Tell me the name of... 
Oh yeah, yeah. Well, if the sheep's are running, probably, probably should go in the same direction. Same, like immediately. Immediately. <laughs> <Same> direction. <laughs> right wherever now. they're going. Here he comes. Oh my god. Oh. Yo. Oh no. <laughs> Oh wow. <laughs> That's messed up, guys. That is so messed up. Go. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. It just came for him. Just the head. That's it. Yeah, you saw it with your own eyes now. Has he not come out at all? I like how they showed that this one was actually handy with a sword. Yeah. Like, completely yeah, different exactly. one than the first one. Yeah. You must not excite yourself. But it was a headless horseman. Of course it was. That's why you were here. <laughs> it was a horseman, a dead one. Headless. I know, I know. You don't know because you were not there. It's all true. Of course yes. it is. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't believe it. I saw him. Oh, man. I yeah, he's out. Back to the city then. <laughs> if you were to see that in real life, I'm sure that anybody would be like, I just saw something that was dead on a horse <laughs> decapitating people through town. Yeah, that's, um... Yeah, that's, uh... That's a rough memory to live with. Oh, It's just a dream, right? I'm sure it means something after all, but... She got in trouble for drawing. But all right, this time I get to interest myself. Yeah, good luck processing all of that. Magistrate is dead, and gentlemen, I need able men to go with me into the western woods. We thought you'd shot your belt. <laughs> I have placed my ears and come out determined to locate the horseman's grave. Good luck with that. Who's with me? Yeah. Literally no, no one. one. <laughs> Nobody wants to. Oh, that poor Very kid. That's a brave kid. With a wind ship, something must connect them. Did your father have dealings with the Van Garretts? He worked for them. We lived in the coach house. But there was something that happened one night a week before the murder. Mm. Upstairs between father and son. And my father was later sent for by Mr. Van Garrett. Okay. An argument okay. between father and son. After which the elder Van Garrett sent for his servant, Masbeth. Listen. I hear nothing. Nor I. No birds, no crickets. It's all gone so quiet. Quick and pace. Yeah, not a good sign. Let's keep moving. <laughs> you yeah. know, just in case. I wonder uh, what the targets are of the Headless Horseman. Like, what's the correlation? Why is he targeting, right. targeting certain people? Ah, uh, he came prepared this time? Smart. <laughs> the kid in the front. <laughs> he has the kid in front, please, dude. Oh my god, love of Christ. Hmm, is that a witch house? That's Not very true. promising. But, uh, perhaps you could help us. I should like to say that I, I make no assumptions about your occupation. No, your ways, which, 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> which, 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 whatever you are. <laughs> Each to his own. I love that. Do you know of the horseman, Mom? That Tell one. him, ma'am. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Come with me. Whatever you hear, keep away. Yikes. Whatever you hear. <laughs> That's always a good sign. What might he hear that he must keep away from? He rides the hollow and back. I smell the blood on him. Who <laughs> you? Oh, poor, poor bat. Yep. Bye. Oh, baby. I can show you. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't move or speak. When the other comes, I will hold him. The other. Silence. He okay. Oh. Is she invoking the spirit oh, no. of the headless? That's what she was strapping herself on. Oh, God. Yeah. Yikes! You see, the warrior bathed in blood, the headless horseman, follow the Indian trail to where the sun dies, follow to the tree of the dead, climb down to the horseman's resting place. Oh, wow.
I like the paranoia now, how it's settled yeah. in. He's like looking around, yeah. just making sure, you know? Well, he's just had his entire world opened up to Absolutely. a completely different way of viewing. Thinking, right? Yeah, now anything yeah. is a possibility now. Exactly. Halt and turn, I have a pistol aimed. Katrina, I might have killed you. Why have you come? Because no one else would go with you. Well, I'm now twice the man. It is your white magic. What My a guy! <laughs> <laughs> like, kid, come on! Quick. You better come and take a look at this cliche. Really? You couldn't have waited a couple seconds? Like, Poor guy is like, I'm dude, I these? just, I was this close, dude. I don't get it! Such beautiful horses, man. Uh, Johnny Depp's character's horse is the horse that he adopted in real life. No way! Yeah, because the horse was gonna be put down. Oh no! And he didn't want that to happen, so he adopted him. Look at that tree, dude! The set design of this is amazing. The whole atmosphere, really, the constant mist, you know, surrounding yeah. the forest. Ooh, there's blood. The kind of monochrome look and feel of everything. Yeah. But Tim Burton likes to make his movies very cold. There's fresh blood in the tree. What is it? Just stay where you are. It's flesh. Oh, that's where they are. There he is, yeah. He was buried there. Where's the head, though? Skull is gone. Got Take it. Him. Okay. That's when the horseman returns from the grave. He'll take heads of his own. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that shot, dude. Dude. Yo. Woo. It is definitely a ghost. Split up. Glenn. Tito. Oh, these guys. The sound design is all in the details. You notice how the headless horseman's horse, the hoof sounds mm. are way louder. Yeah, they're dude. heavier. There's more bass. Yeah. It feels more stronger. Yeah. yeah, it feels like yeah. a stronger horse yeah. than, you know, Ichabod's There's also horse. a slight shift in the frame rate, which just makes it look much faster. Mm -hmm. Well, they seem like a cute couple. Don't do anything to them. Then they have a child. Oh. That's totally normal, right? Yeah, no. Yo. Oh, no. Ooh. What do you do? You can't go for the head. Yeah. Like, what do you do? <laughs> oh. Oof. Oh. Jesus. Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, the makeup design is so good. Like, yeah. I don't know if they did any VFX to put the faces back into that, but that, right. if it's just makeup, it's really good. Oh no. Poor kid, man. That is horrifying, dude. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Not the kid, dude. Oh my god. Do something, bro, please go. No. No way, bro, really? Old school sniper. Dude, what are you gonna, you can't get a headshot. Yeah, I mean. You can't kill something that's already dead. Dead, yeah. Because we know the rule. If it bleeds, we can kill it. We can kill it. <laughs> Our boy Arnold. Yeah, Arnold. Gotta listen to him. Yeah, he was not gonna do anything to him, interestingly enough. He was just walking right past him. See? Yeah. So there's a motive. But why the kid? Wait, he's not after you. At this point, it's self-defense, right? <laughs> Whoa! 
Wow. Ooh. Oof. He's got them by the balls, dude. However, whoever they had inside the suit doing all that, great work. Because I'm, I can assume yeah. they couldn't see shit in the, yeah. in the costume. Good job, dude. Yo. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Dude. Hey, this guy's good. Look yeah, at him. Yeah, he's surviving. Ooh. He was good. Oh, Katrina, I tried to stop Brom, but shh. Drink this down. It will make you sleep. The horseman was not set to kill Brom or me. Had Brom not attacked him. Later, mm. rest now. I have discovered something. The horseman does not kill at random. Yeah. His victims are chosen by someone who controls him, by that very person who took his skull. Oh. Knew where to dig. Someone of flesh and blood, as I have always said. Mm. These are ravings. Mm. A little milk of the puppy. Okay. Wow, he's smart for figuring that out. No, someone is controlling it. <laughs> I like how from the back you can't, yeah. Oh no. That's what happened to him. That is a horrifying m nightmare to have, or yes. memory, if it's a memory. Tell me what you dreamt. My mother was an innocent, condemned, murdered by my father. Murdered by? Murdered to save her soul by a Bible black tyrant behind a mask of righteousness. I was seven when I lost my faith. What do you believe in? Sense and reason. I should not have come to this place. <laughs> you take nothing from Sleepy Hollow that was worth the coming here. Hey, hey yo. I mean, that was a chance, dude. Come on. A kiss from a lovely there you go. Before she saw my face or knew my name. Without sense or reason. I speak of kisses. You've lost your brave man, Brom. Ah, oh, fuck Brom. She's <laughs> like, whatever. And yet my heart is not broken. Oh. That's fucked up. She for the streets, bro. And I'm stop. <laughs> <laughs> there's perhaps there's a bit of witch in you. Yeah. You bewitched me. Hmm. Brom forgot. He just gets a hug for that. Less than a few hours. <laughs> yeah, I know. On to the next. On to the next. He just gets a hug. What, what else do you want? <laughs> I mean, that was a nice line. He could at least get a little kiss. But that the servant girl has vanished. Sarah. They're all leaving in fear. Can you blame them? <laughs> Shit. For real. She over you till dawn. Now it is her turn to sleep. Fit enough to face a mortal adversary. Hmm. To Lancaster. I was gonna say, time to start getting the clues in order. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Get the little red string, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rook and Magistrate Phillips. There is conspiracy here. What is the secret that unites them? Magistrate Phillips knew there were five bodies to four graves. He knew the widow was pregnant. Mm hmm He would not tell me the name of the father. We must proceed by process of elimination. I shall make a list of every man and woman in Sleepy Hollow, starting with its chief citizen, Baltus Van Tassel. I suppose Baltus is the chief citizen, now that old Ben Garrett is dead. He's a good detective. I know. I gotta say, I like his skill. My father's satchel. Why is it here? Hmm. <laughs> me alone. What Just the hell? As soon as you show me the last will and testament of old man Van Garrett. Me when I don't want to socialize. <laughs> to his son. Who died with him. So the estate passes to the next of kin. Right. Naturally. All legal and about board. Sir. Seems Van Garrett made a new will just before he died. Oh, right. The one in the beginning of the film. Van Garrett secretly married the widow. Mm. Will stood between the Van Garrett fortune and the person who would have otherwise inherited everything. But we four were drawn in against our will. The four town elders. Huh. Now I see what parts you had to play. So they all knew. Yeah. We did not know it was a murdering plot. First, Van Garrett's father and son slain by a horseman raised from the grave to chop head. Now, up pops a widow with a claim on the fortune. Off with her head. It was the servant, Jonathan Masbeth. The night father and son quarreled over the new will. Jonathan Masbeth was summoned upstairs to bear witness. Here is his signature. Afraid it was his death warrant. Oh. Came for him. 
came for him at the bidding of someone who had power over him. Right. Someone who dug right. in the earth in the western woods and stole the skull, the missing head, which must be restored to the horseman before he will return to hell. Someone who stood to gain or lose a fortune, none other than Van Garrett's next of kin, Baltus Van Tassel. Wow. Okay. Katrina, why are you in my room? Because it is yours. Hey. Was it wicked of me? No. No, not at all. Kid, leave. <laughs> yeah, I know. Damn. Damn. And did you learn anything of interest? Perhaps. My father thinks you should return to New York. Mm-hmm. Why is that? I don't know. Perhaps he looked in your ledger and did not like what he saw. Oh, shit. Whoops. Evidence. No, I'm sorry. I must ask you. Then I'll leave you to your thoughts. He left it right there in an open book. I Literally. Know. Literally, <laughs> he's on a like. There's something under here. What is it? Help me move the bed. No, no, I mustn't. You do it. <laughs> Heart of a lion. Oh, that's oh. the evil eye. It is someone casting spells against you. That's why he's been having nightmares. Probably. So much juiciness. Whoa. Hey. Oh, not like this. Not like this. He's like, yes, appropriate reaction <laughs> to what he just saw. You took the evidence and burned it. So that you would not have it to accuse my father. No. But if there is guilt, I cannot alter it, no matter how much it grieves me. Your father has the motive. It is he who stands to profit from these murders. If you knew him, you would not have such harsh thoughts about him, nor if he felt anything for me. I am pinioned by a chain of reasoning. Yeah. I think you loved me that day when you followed me into the western woods to have braved such peril. What peril was there for me? It was my own father who controlled the Headless Horseman. Goodbye, Ichabod Crane. I cursed the day you came to Sleepy Hollow. Ouch. Such a deep breakup for her. Line. Yeah, I know. Just a kiss on the cheek. Did she? And a hug. Constable? You done broke her heart, buddy? You have not asked me how I have hurt my hand since yesterday. In fact, you have been as careful not to look at it as not to mention it. Hmm. Yes. Yikes. I know you saw me. Hey, yo. I know you followed last night. And you must promise not to tell my husband what you saw. Promise me. <laughs> Town is in ferment. Hardenbrook is dead. Oh, no. What is that? Oh, I was careless with the kitchen knife. The wound looks angry. Yeah. What was that all about? I wonder. Come on, hurry up. The meeting bell started tolling. She's the one that controls the Headless Horseman? No way, dude. Killed her. The Horseman killed your stepmother. Yo. <laughs> oh my god. This music is sick, dude. Yeah, dude. Fucking Denny Elfman. Sacred grounds. Mm. Hey. I know. My kid. We cannot enter. The bar should be dark for you. The horseman cannot enter. He cannot cross the gate. We have to save ourselves. And it's past the day to handle me. We gotta put it. It's turning into a shit show, man. Yeah, dude. Everybody's out to survive. Yeah. Time to confess our sins. What is it that you know? Your four friends played you false. We were devilishly possessed by one who. Oh. oh my God. Yo. What is the conspiracy here? Oh no. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Is it gonna decapitate him? Yeah. Yo. Huh. What a massacre. Yeah. What a disaster. She's the one that painted the. Yeah. The eye. 
strange sort of witch with a kind and loving heart. How can you think so? I have good reason. Then you are bewitched by reason. I am beaten down by it. Hmm. Wow. Great lines. These lines are good. Dude. Yeah, that was a great wow. line. It is a hard lesson for a hard world, and you had better learn it, young master. Villainy wears many masks. None so dangerous as the mask of virtue. Wow. Wow. The writer was like... Yeah, let me flex real quick. Hold my typewriter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know? Does it get a click now? Mm -hmm. Now that he's getting some space to think. He knows who that is. Yeah. It's an optic. What's the illusion here? Oh, no. It's not what it seems. Yeah. It was not what it seemed. She was trying to Poor protect him. Oh, no. I know. Poor girl, you better apologize. Oh, man. You better give her a hug. Just a hug. No blood flow, no clotting, no healing. When this cut was made, yeah. this woman was already dead. That's not the same woman. Dear stepdaughter. Hmm. Poor girl. <laughs> she's like, huh? That poor girl's not, not getting a single break. No, she's going through hell and back right now. So it was all a conspiracy by her. What a little switcheroo here. We thought it was her. Yeah. Then we didn't. Now it is. Rise up once more, my dark avenger. There you go. One more night of beheading. Rise up with your sword. Head. There it is. Come now. Wow. <laughs> wow, really? What a horrible woman. Wake at last. <laughs> Actually, though. Do you think it was all a nasty dream? Father saw the horseman kill you. He saw the horseman come towards me with his sword unsheathed. But it is I. Govern the horseman, my dear. Baltus did not stay to watch. Optics. <laughs> it was all optics. The servant girl, Sarah. And I always thought she was useless. <laughs> but it seems she had a <laughs> after all. Wow. Mmm. My family name was Archer. The Archer. Oh! I lived with my father and mother and sister in a cottage not far from here. Until one day, my father died, and the landlord, who had received many years of loyal service from my parents, evicted us. Mm. No one in this God-fearing town would take us in, because my mother was suspected of witchcraft. Oh, God. My sister and I remained in our refuge, seeing not a soul. Until one day... Gathering firewood, we crossed the path of the Hesiod. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was them. I saw his death. Oh man! Delivered the Reverend Steenwick into my power. Fear did the same for the notary Hardenbrook and the drunken Phillips. And the doctor's silence I exchanged for my complicity in his fornications with the servant girl Sarah. Hmm. You have everything now. No! You have, my dear. By your father's will. <laughs> I get everything in the event of your death. There you go. Oh, my sister, by the way. All the clues. What a bitch! What? <laughs> thank God. Oh, boy. Don't thank him just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Clever. That's funny. Dude, he goes in with a purpose. Yeah, he really does. Oh, the windmill. No way. 
How are they gonna get out of this, dude? Okay. Just better hold on. Oof. Ow. Dude, they barely made it out of that. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, I thought it was gonna. I thought it was gonna de be like decapitate him. Oh, oh. shit! Ah! Ah! Tio, this guy is so badass. I'm low key rooting for like. the headless horseman. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh, that was <laughs> way too close. Poor guy's just hanging on for dear life. There she is. Oh no! The spell book! Tell me the spell book! Saved him. Oh, <laughs> he tackled her. <laughs> Jesus. Good job, dude. Yes. Oh, God. Oh. You gotta make it on time, dude. Yo. Nice. <laughs> Good job, kid. Hey, are we good now? We're good? We good? Yo. Oh, wow. That is a pretty cool transition. Dude, 1999? That's nice really good. Job. Hello. He looks terrifying. He's taking her with? Oh, God. Yikes. Yeah, that's kind of karma. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Yep. Good riddance. <laughs> Everybody's passing out here. I mean, the kid hasn't passed out. The kid is brave, dude. The, the kid's kid like, is, yeah, whatever. He's a badass. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Oh. Just in time for a new century. I like that that line had relevance when it came out because it was 1999 as yeah. well. So, just in time for a new yeah. century. Just in time. I like that. Yeah, me too. The That's script so writers cool. were like, just they in were time. Like... <laughs> wow. That was fantastic. That was Dude, such that was a cool. So much fun. That was such a good time. Yeah. I, I had no idea. I mean, I've always heard the name and, the, you know, the title, and I've been hearing about this film for years and years. I'm actually quite surprised that I managed to not get spoiled at all. Like, I, I, I knew right. the name Sleepy Hollow, but I had no idea what it was actually about. Did you know that this was including the Headless Horseman? I had no idea. That was the coolest moment because I was like, yeah, I was like, OK, it's Halloween ish and I see the vibe. But what you know, what it is, wh who is the villain? Right. What's the monster? Right. What, what is what's going to come from this? What right? is the motive? So when I saw <laughs> the scarecrow and I saw the pumpkin head, I was like, no. And then I saw the horses and I was like, OK, but they're you know, they're just running away. Yeah. And then when the camera kind of finally does that reveal and you see a headless horseman and they start telling you about his, you know, the tale of the headless horseman, I was like, right. oh, this is going to be so <laughs> much fun, dude. So I'm so happy I had no idea, like absolutely no idea that this was a story cool, about them. that's awesome. Because I actually love the tale of the headless horseman. Like I, right. I love, you know, these like legends and myths, especially yeah, when, it has, when it's a ghost story and the folklore. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's so this was. 
such a fun time and it was so well executed i like the costume design yes. the, the the atmosphere it brought yeah it, it gave you that sense of being told this story or at least yeah. how i remember it being told when i was a kid but get like being able to see it in action it very much has the look and the feel of a fable like you know like the original fairy tales yeah. like the original cinderella where before they were disney-fied yeah um, it very yeah, much yeah. felt like that where you know there's a, there's a darker tone mm -hmm. there's a lesson to be learned here mm -hmm. honestly i remembered a lot less than i thought and i now Good. having watched it all over again <laughs> i love it so much more like i loved it when i was younger and i fucking love it now I, I was not expecting it to be this beautiful mixture of a horror film, yeah. clearly the tale of the Headless Horseman, yeah. but also a very good Sherlock Holmesy film. Yeah, it had so many really cool like elements of like a classic detective story, which, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm a sucker for those for yeah. sure. Also, can we talk about the score, dude? Oh, Danny Elfman, man. He Danny Elfman. It. So he it. the thing is, it's because the atmosphere, obviously, there's always this sense of impending doom, right? Yeah. It, it, it's, it's almost it's a little looming. claustrophobic. It's constantly looming over yeah you know 100 percent, and it feels almost claustrophobic and the great thing mm -hmm. about the soundtrack is like especially anytime the headless horseman shows up just the way like it builds and builds and like the constant like booming like bassy kind of sounds and the strings and everything it was so powerful to see i honestly i give it a, a dude it's two nines for today i give it another yeah. nine now I can see why people it's, call it a classic. It, it's yeah. deserving of that. It has that nostalgic feel. It's a great film. It has good writing. Yes. It has great acting. And it's a story about ghosts and a story about a headless horseman, which I can only assume if we're still rolling our eyes today about horror films when yeah. we talk, start talking about them. I can assume in 1999 it was more of the same. It was like, oh, it's a horror film. You know, maybe yeah. people didn't take them as seriously, but clearly yeah. they took this seriously. So I was very impressed with what I got. So. Yeah. That's my uh, that's my opinion. That's Yay, my comment. That's his opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining us in this reaction. We hope that you guys enjoyed. Let us know in the comments below what what's your favorite moment of this film. Yeah. Uh, did it impress you? When do you watch it for the first time? That's something I would like to know. And uh, as always, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. See ya.